Hey, what's up guys, Henry Hopkin here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to get custom skins from Rust into Blender. So this is how you do it. First off, you're gonna open up Asset Studio. And today we're gonna to use the kilt, the roadside kilt. So you gotta find the mesh initially. Now, um, where did I put it? Put it here, cool. All right, it's finally done loading. We're gonna look up the road sign. For some reason, it doesn't show the kilt when you type, type kilt, so you gotta go for road sign. Uh, oh, wrong page, wrong, wrong thing, uh, go to mesh, cool. And uh, now you just gotta go down, all the way down here. And, wait, uh, this one is good, all right? And click this. And just export it on your desktop, so kind of call it road sign, kilt. Text folder and we're chilling, cool. All right, guys, you gotta be really careful here. If you mess this up, something goes bad, right? So you're gonna click File, Extract Folder. You're gonna go to Steam now, uh, Properties, Local Files, Browse, copy this location, right? Go here, put it here, and go under Bundles and Textures. Now be careful once again. Select Folder, go to Desktop, and make a new folder called Textures. I already have a folder called Textures. We'll call it Textures 2. Textures 2, right? And select folder. While that's loading, we're going to look for the skin we want to use today. So go to market. All right. Go under rust. You want the road sign. So look up road sign. We're going to use uh, the kilt. Actually, here it is. Road sign. Holy damn, that's expensive. We're going to use this road sign kilt. So, um, you gotta click the workshop and then you can copy it, copy page URL. And go here and uh, click load folder. I'm gonna load the textures folder now. So take textures too. It's gonna take a sec second to load. Now remember that file location we copied? Well, you gotta paste it here and just get rid of every everything except the ID. And boom, now you have your uh, textures you wanna use. So just uh, copy these and put it in your road sign kilt folder. Boom. Done. Now open up the road sign kilt, grab these two and uh, fix the normal maps for it. So in game image, open it up, put these in here and it's done. Cool. You can close all of this, open up blender. Uh, it's going to take a second to load. Under shading, put them into your preview or render, whatever you prefer. It's a bit, bit, bit laggy anyway. Finally loaded. And uh, oh, I'm just going to hide this for YouTube reasons. Quick Rust tools, import Rust model. Now look for the. Look for the road sign kill. Grab that, put it in at 100. As always, import Rust model. Boom. Now it's not textured, but we can texture it easily. Not a problem. So go back to your file. Find the textures, bump map, aka the normal map, goes into the normal map. Boom. All right, now it has a texture. Now grab the specular, put specular in, specular as usual, and the texture into base color. Um, you can also mess with the metallic, because if your item is metallic, you can uh, put the metallic higher if, or lower or the roughness. And yeah, that's it for today. So hope you guys learned a new thing and uh, see you in the next one.